Hammer Time, Round 2. The essence of absolute evil held the horde together and rose to the challenge of vicious dwarven engineering. Stupid little good elf. Otherwise, I'll have a hard time wringing your scrawny neck. What the hell do you want from me anyway? Talia, stepsister, your deplorable deeds must not go unpunished. You have slain our foster father, Thanos, a blasphemous affront to our goddess, whom you, to top it all off, have also slain. But we will have plenty of time to argue on our journey. I am here for the stone. Brynhild, if you please. You know you can, you little cutie. Oi! Go on, you lazy nut. Get that Destroyer of Worlds class hammer going. Talia had been captured. Only the bubbling around the place essence of absolute evil could save her. It was amusing to leave Talia in the clutches of her brother. But on the other hand, without her help, the shapeless evil would probably just roam the countryside as a disembodied something or other and at best be hired for third-rate horror movies. Fortunately, a forgotten dungeon heart lying in the underground could quickly be reactivated. Together with the creatures of the Horde, it would be easy to smash the do-gooder heroes there to smithereens. The wafting evil had to get rid of that dwarven contraption on the overworld as it posed a threat to the underground and with it the dungeon heart. It was therefore necessary to build a mighty dungeon or rather to have one built because as a wafting essence the disembodied evil could not do much itself. Hungry Evil had built a treasury. The meager amount that could be stored in the throne room was simply not even close to enough for a proper gold bath.
the gluttony loving evil had built a gobbler farm. Here, delicious gobblers were raised to serve as food for the horde. Payday! area has been unearthed in the dungeon. allowing evil had built a tinkerer's cave. Here, little snots could use the work units to make toolboxes, which were needed for the more extravagant dungeon accoutrements. Sheltering evil had built a hideout for the horde's creatures. These could henceforth build themselves a place to rest there. The army raising evil had recruited its first creature, a bit underwhelming considering that it was sitting on the throne of the gods a short time ago. But fresh starts are never easy. The evilest evil could use the hand of terror, not only to intervene, but also to lend its little snots the impetus they needed by giving them a spirited slap. The detestable evil had earned some delicious evilness, 
excellent things could be done with it, such as exploring new stuff. However, first, a place had to be found where the evilness could be stored. The absolute evil quickly built a vault of evilness. The glamorous evil had built a vault of evilness. This allowed it to henceforth store evilness and use it. Oi! No need to sit around being lazy when we could be picking up a little gold while we're here, eh? On you go, lads! Grab the nearest gold vein! Sooner or later, the greedy dwarves would dig their way into the dungeon. The perfidious evil used a workshop to prepare traps to stop the gold-stealing dwarves in their tracks. progress has almost always been a fine thing. Further research could not only make new units or rooms available, but also increase the maximum number of little snots or creatures. I realize you really get a kick out of slapping your creatures, but they're not really the enemy here. Maybe you should reassess your priorities. Here. I sure hope not, because I have a whole different set of plans for just how you lot are gonna die here. The cunning evil had placed the first traps. This would make it much harder for the greedy dwarves to steal the gold from the treasury or even destroy the dungeon heart itself.
my little gold boy. Yeah. He had to stick to the horse. Whose skulls are at best used as toilet paper holders in the lavatory. Okay, boys. Tear this joint to the ground. Dwarves had opened a passage into the dungeon. The little snots immediately executed Order 67, as they had been instructed to do by Talia in such a case, which meant that they ran through the dungeon with their arms flapping wildly. At the same time, they opened the secret trap cache, so that the tricky evil could give the dwarves a very warm welcome. Oi! Did you little honey buns forget your little baby bottles? Or how did you manage to lose to a bunch of lousy orcs? Hmm. But boy, we still have some reinforcements here. Reinforcements? Attack! Obviously, the danger from the dwarves had not yet been neutralized. Luckily, the little snots had made a few traps in their spare time, and they were only too happy to make available to the all-consuming evil. your creatures has died, I'm sure you're shedding a tear right now as you hire the next three. Later, you may also be able to resurrect these creatures. <laughs> What's one dead creature if it gets one closer to the goal of freeing me? Come on, free me already, you rotten maggots! <laughs> vein is almost exhausted. The dwarves were defeated for the time being, 
Satisfied, the essence of absolute evil rubs something together that could perhaps pass for two hands together. The all-destroying evil had conquered the exit. This left the way to the surface open for its troops. The absolute evil's creatures blinked a little as they stepped into the glaring light of the sun. Finally, they could lay waste not only to the boring corridors of the dungeon, but also to the lush green meadows of the overworld. Horrific evil had destroyed a camp in the overworld. The defeated heroes ran away crying and tried to entrench themselves behind even higher walls. Dong, it's payday.
creatures have destroyed a cage. dungeon. A gold vein has been mined out. destroyed another of the heroes' camps. Screaming at the top of their voices, the survivors took to their heels. cage was destroyed and creatures were freed. Oi, I have to protect the blueprints, Nukems. Otherwise, the orcs will eventually end up building some decent machinery here. Well then, keep your tin up, Toodles. Brynhild, what are you doing? I thought your dwarves could easily handle a few orcs. Problems, brother mine? Oh, what a shame. I had actually already planned on making myself a tea set out of dwarf skulls. Talia, your evilness truly knows no bounds. These dwarves are part of the Alliance of Good. You were also once part of that alliance.
path to the dwarves' oversized hammer lay open. The trembling heroes prepared themselves for the final battle. A cage was destroyed and creatures were freed. equipment spectacularly went up in flames, which was rather odd, as the creatures had only been hitting the thing with their weapons. But fine, perhaps horde weapons were made of flint. Yet the distraction provided by the dwarven intervention had shifted the destruction-loving evil's focus long enough for Talia and her stepbrother Tristan to disappear into the distance. With an imaginary sigh, the staggering evil took one last look around before setting off in pursuit. The path led to the Hellwoods, an eerie place claimed by the demonic creatures of the underworld. <laughs> the 